This video explains the concepts of algorithm and pseudocode. Design process. The design of any program may be divided into two steps. One, recognize the program's intended function. Two, break the work down into stages that another person can follow. Assume someone asks you how to boil water. You may split the task down into the following steps. One, fill a pot with the required amount of water. Two, increase the heat to high. Three, place the pot on a burner on the stove. Four, cover the pot with the lid. Five, keep an eye on the water until you notice big bubbles rising quickly. The steps of the boiling water process can be summarized as follows. This is an example of an algorithm. Algorithm An algorithm is a set of comprehensive step-by-step -step instructions for resolving a problem or performing a task. The algorithm steps must be performed in the correct order. Step 1 should come before step 2, and so on. A programmer can break down the program's task in the same way that boiling water example is broken down. If a programmer follows the steps of the algorithm exactly, and in the correct order, he or she should be able to complete the program's task successfully. Any algorithm is made up of five major components. 1. Start. Specify the algorithm's starting point. 2. Input. Enter the problem's input parameters. 3. Task or calculation. Carry out your calculations, or math. 4. Output. Display the problem's output parameters, or results. 5. End. Specify the algorithm's endpoint. Example. Create an algorithm to compute and display the gross salary of an hourly employee. Solution. As mentioned before, any algorithm consists of five major components. Start. Input. Calculation. Output. End. Start. The first step of the algorithm is usually start and is placed at the beginning of the algorithm. It is written in the algorithm as. Input. In this example, we need to know the number of hours, N, and the hourly payment, R, to calculate the gross payment. As a result, there are two inputs, N and R. We can enter N and R in two different steps. It is written in the algorithm as Calculation the value of the gross payment can be calculated by multiplying n by r. It is written in the algorithm as Output In this step, we will display the result of the gross payment according to the requirement of the example. It is written in the algorithm as End. This step shows the end point of the pseudocode and is usually placed after the result's output. It is written in the algorithm as Finally, the algorithm can be written as 1. Start 2. Input the number of hours, N 3. Input the hourly pay rate, R 4. Multiply the number of hours worked by the hourly pay rate. 5. Display the result of the calculation that was performed in step 4. 
Sixth end. Example. Create an algorithm to find the sum of any two numbers. Solution. As mentioned before, any algorithm consists of five major components. Start. Input. Calculation. Output. End. Start. The first step of the algorithm is usually start and is placed at the beginning of the algorithm. It is written in the algorithm as Input In this case, we need to know the values of the two numbers we're attempting to add. Let's say these two numbers are n and m. As a result, two inputs, n and m, exist. We can enter n and m in two separate steps, or in a single step. It is written in the algorithm as Calculation The sum of the two numbers can be calculated by adding n to m. The sum has the value s. It is written in the algorithm as Output. In this step, we will display the result of the sum, s, according to the requirement of the example. It is written in the algorithm as End. This step shows the end point of the pseudocode, and is usually placed after the result's output. It is written in the algorithm as Finally, the algorithm can be written as 1. Start 2. Enter the two numbers in the variables n and m 3. Sum the two numbers and save the result in the variable s 4. Display the result s 5. End Example Create an algorithm to change the temperature from Fahrenheit to centigrade Solution As mentioned before, any algorithm consists of five major components. Start Input Calculation Output End Start The first step of the algorithm is usually start and is placed at the beginning of the algorithm. It is written in the algorithm as Input. In this case, we need to know the value of the temperature in Fahrenheit, F. As a result, one input, F, exists. It is written in the algorithm as Calculation. To get the temperature in centigrade, subtract 32 from the temperature in Fahrenheit, F, then multiply the result by 5 then divide by 9. Store the final result in the variable C. We can write the above calculations in three steps. It is written in the algorithm as Output In this step, we will display the final result of the calculation component according to the requirement of the example. It is written in the algorithm as End This step shows the end point of the pseudocode and is usually placed after the result's output. It is written in the algorithm as Finally, the algorithm can be written as 1. Start 2. Enter the value of temperature in Fahrenheit 3. Subtract 32 4. Multiply the result in step 2 by 5 5. Divide the result in step 3 by 9 6. Write down the answer 
7, end. Of course, the algorithm isn't yet ready to be run on a computer. The algorithm steps must be converted into code. Programmers frequently utilize two tools to assist them in converting algorithms into code, pseudocode and flowchart. Pseudocode. Because small mistakes like misspelled words and forgotten punctuation characters can cause syntax errors, programmers have to be mindful of such small details when writing a code. For this reason, programmers find it helpful to write a program in pseudocode before they write it in the actual code of a programming language such as MATLAB or C++. Pseudocode is an informal language that has no syntax rules and is not meant to be compiled or executed. Because programmers don't have to worry about syntax errors while writing pseudocode, they can focus all of their attention on the program's design. Each statement in the pseudocode represents an operation that can be performed in a computer program, such as MATLAB or C++. Once a satisfactory design has been created with pseudocode, the pseudocode can be translated directly to actual code. Example. Create a pseudocode to find the sum of two numbers. Solution. We can easily generate pseudocode from the algorithm. The pseudocode can be written in simple English by using short words. The pseudocode can be written in a format similar to that of a high-level programming language, such as MATLAB, C++, Python, and so on, but in a simplified version, i.e. without adhering to strict syntax that programming languages use. We can write the pseudocode as follows using the algorithm we created earlier in this example. Note, the second step in the algorithm and pseudocode can be separated to two steps. In this way, the pseudocode can be written as shown in pseudocode 2. Example. Create a pseudocode to change the temperature from Fahrenheit to centigrade. Solution. Using the algorithm created earlier in this example, the pseudocode can be created as follows. Note, in the algorithm and pseudocode, steps 3 to 5 can be combined to form a single step. As a result, the pseudocode can be written as shown in pseudocode 2. What are algorithm and pseudocode? Both of the algorithm and the pseudocode can be defined as an informal way to describe the solution of any problem in computer programming. The instructions in both methods don't require any strict programming language syntax or underlying technology considerations. They are used for creating an outline or a rough draft of a program. They summarize a program's flow but excludes underlying details. System designers write pseudocode to ensure that programmers understand a software project's requirements and align code accordingly. Algorithm and pseudocode are not actual programming languages. They cannot be compiled into an executable program. They use short terms or simple English language syntaxes to write code for programs before they are actually converted into a specific programming language. This is done to identify top-level flow errors and understand the programming data flows that the final program is going to use. Differences between algorithm and pseudocode. Algorithm. In general, algorithm is written in a natural language such as plain English or another language. There are no guidelines to adhere to when building it. Pseudocode. 
Pseudocode is one of the approaches used to aid in the representation of an algorithm. It is written in a format comparable to that of a high-level programming language, such as MATLAB, C++, Python, and so on, but in a simplified version, i.e. without following strict syntax that are used in programming languages. It is written in simple English and use brief words to describe the functionality of a single line of code. There are many formats that could be used to write pseudocodes. Most of these formats take the structure from languages such as C, Basic, Fortran, and so on. Control structures such as while, if then else, repeat until, and so on can be used. Pseudocode is not actually a programming language. This means it can't be executed on a computer.